In this video we are going to talk about the Williams percent range indicator. It is traded automatically right now. We use the Golden Goose framework in the English version. Right now it's equity positive and the balance is also positive. We started with 100,000 US dollar. So if I would close this account right away we would have made a profit of $277, but I'm not going to do that. This very fast running oscillator down here has been invented by a guy named Larry Williams. And now we are going to find out how we can create an expert advisor that is able to trade this oscillator automatically. To do that, please click on the little button here or press F4 in your MetaTrader. And now you should see the Meta Editor. And here you want to create a file called checkentry underscore wpr.mq5. It will use a function called checkentry that will deliver a string value for the calculated buy or sell signal. We need to create an empty string that will be called signal, but we won't assign a value right now because we are going to calculate that later. We also need to create an array for several prices. That one will be called WPR array for Williams percent range. And it's a double array because it needs to hold floating point values for the prices. In the next step we are going to create a WPR definition by using the MQL5 built-in function IWPR. This one takes only three parameters. The first one will be the currency pair on your chart. The second one will be the selected period on your chart. And the last parameter has a value of 14. Because if you click on Insert, Indicators, Oscillators, Williams Percent Range, you will see that it is calculated for 14 candles. And now we need to sort our array from the current candle downwards. This is done by using Array Set as Series for the WPR array we have created here. And with Copy Buffer. We will fill the WPR array according to the WPR definition we have created here. And we will do that for the first line, that's buffer 0, from the current candle 0 for 3 candles. Now let's get the value for the current candle. To do that we will create a variable called WPR value. That will look into the WPR array. And it will get the values for candle 0 and with normalize double and the 2 here. We make sure that we calculate only two digits behind the dot. By the way, this expert advisor has made $1200 so far. And of course we need to calculate the buy signal now. That will always be the case when the value of the line here is between minus 80 and minus 100. So if WPR value is below minus 80 and above minus 100, we want to assign the text by to our signal. And in the other case, to create a sell signal, we would check if the WPR value is above minus 20 and below zero. That would be a sell signal because that is the area above the dotted line here. That's the minus 20 mark and this would be the zero mark. Right now we made $1370. But now let's continue. The final step for our module here is to return the calculated signal to the main module. That will be done by using the return command. And now we close the whole module and the function check entry with a final bracket. If you are ready, 
please click on save because you don't compile the entry module. In my case, I need to compile the main module. This is the Golden Goose framework. This framework basically is a collection of functions that can be imported. They all have been pre-coded in a so-called library. This is the file where we have defined the complete behavior for the trading framework. If you don't know what a framework is, you can basically imagine a trade management system that you can use again and again. It will enable you to trade up to 22 currency pairs and several positions at the same time. Obviously, I can't explain a whole framework in a 5 to 10 minute video. If you are interested in getting a framework or coding your own framework, just visit my website, you will see the URL at the end of this video. But back to topic. We are going to import our entry module here and call the check entry function from the check entry underscore WPR module and with check for tick we pass the calculated signal to the trade management. Now let's compile that and that worked without any errors. So now we can click on the little button here to go back to MetaTrader. And in MetaTrader we are in a drawdown right now. That means the equity is below $100,000. So let's switch to full speed here and see what happens. I will try to make this visible for you. And now we are cash flow positive again. This is in the middle of July. Now we are in September. This is October. And in a few seconds our test should be finished. And now we are done. So let's go to the results tab. I will maximize this for you. And you will see that we made $3,357 net profit with 209 trades. 66 trades have been short trades and we had 143 long trades. So this one looks pretty good. Let's do a few more tests. I will disable the visualization mode here to speed up the whole testing process and go to the next currency pair. And now you should see a graph tab appearing and this is very fast. Half the year is over, now we are in September. And now we are done. This time it's a total net profit of $8,580. Let's switch to the Australian dollar against the yen. Click on start. Just a few more seconds. And here we go. Total net profit is $10,443. Now let's trade the Australian dollar against the New Zealand dollar. Start. Click on the graph tab. This one has a big drawdown. But it seems to work out. And finally we made a profit of $2,840. Let's do the Australian dollar against the US dollar. And this is all for the whole year 2016 to the 1st January of 2017. This one is faster. And we have a total net of $6,188. Let's go to the Canadian dollar against the Swiss franc. Start another test. It's also very fast. And in a few seconds, our result is $5,454 net profit. Let's do the Canadian dollar against the yen. I prefer when equity and balance are almost the same. This one made $9,286. Let's see what the 
Swiss Franc against the Yen can do for us. Ouch, this one hurts. Let's see if it will work out. Oh, this looks good. But most people would have closed all their positions right here. Because this is where it really hurts. But in the end we made $4,950. We have a few left. Let's do the Euro against the Australian Dollar. And you see how fast this is. Oh, 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 oh. No, it worked out. This was close to a zero sum game. I will start the Euro against the Canadian Dollar now. This takes a little longer. And it's going up and down. In the end it's only $2,516. We have two left. This one is the Euro against the US Dollar. That's a very common currency pair for traders. And the result is $6,184 net profit. The Euro US Dollar against the Swiss Franc will be the last one for our test. It looks good. And now we are finished. And we made $6,670. Okay. Now you know how you can create an entry module that is able to trade the Williams percent range indicator automatically. And you have coded the entry yourself with a few lines of MQL5 code.